All right, guys, welcome back. Been in my head for a little bit. Been trying to do some stuff during this heat. It's kind of difficult to do stuff while it's hot and sweaty and puts me in a bad mood. But uh, hood's finally finished, ready for paint. Got my little cutout for the vent for the turbo. Still got to do the uh, exhaust outlet plate, so it's still right there. Uh, got these vents for heat to escape. Thought that was pretty cool. My first time doing that. I did warp the metal. I tried to shape it back with hammering it with the uh, body body hammer and uh, got it close as possible, but I need a little bit of body filler. So got that smoothed out, it's looking really good. Got my fender flares finally fully installed. Got the rev nuts behind. Bought these little M5, little password JDM style. And I got these uh, stainless steel M5 screws. Gonna convert these to the hex or the Allen so that way be a lot harder to steal in this case someone wants to steal from me but i doubt it because these are just for the 280zx i also trimmed this piece off looks a lot better looks more looks a lot cleaner even for the back i haven't got these flush with the body line i really hate these ZG, zg fender flares i hate them uh not really hate them for other style cars but i hate them for this car because did not i'm a perfectionist and i wanted the body to look really good so there's a little little bit a little bit of gap right there a little a little bit of gap right there and i hate it i hate that i hate this 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 i hate so maybe let it sit in the sun for a little bit we'll kind of shape it's kind of shape it too with the body but i doubt it but it's something that I got to put up with. Maybe what I'll do is uh, put some kind of sealant right here just to cover that up. I don't know. I, I still got to play with that. Got the wicker bill made, custom made for uh, for this. Got it on the uh, MSA Victory spoiler. Looks pretty, pretty cool. Especially when I get this paper off. Once I get this paper off, you can see that it's going to look pretty cool black. What's this? Oh, it's just oh, oh, it's just dirty. Okay, put that back on. But uh, other than that, got the crash bar kind of marked up. Just uh, I kind of wanted to see how it looked before I sent it off to get powder coated. Also got the roll cage almost done. Got these little harness bars for the harness seat seat belt. Uh, got the crash bar mocked up got the air dam mocked up everything is ready to go body line is good everything is ready to go it's ready for me to uh start getting this car painted so that's the goal of this video get this car finally one solid color so got some stuff that i'm gonna do let me get everything all cleaned up get the shop kind of cleaned up and then uh, we'll go from there all right guys happy to be back <laughs> All right, so got it all stripped apart. Got the hood off, got the fenders off, got the over fenders, got the crash bars, got the T-tops, got the wing off and the wicker build off. It only took about five minutes, not bad. So what I'm gonna do is hand wash it, hit it with this uh, dry coat once it dries up, hit it with the dry coat, dry guy coat, and then I'm gonna hit it with the 180 palm sander DA and then uh, see where my highs and lows are. I worked very hard to get these highs and lows uh, situated, but uh, with this, I'll know for sure to see where, where it's at. Uh, once I get this uh, done, then uh, it's ready for primer. Get all, get all everything covered up and then hit the primer. Got the guy dry coat laid on. Note to self, wear some gloves. It actually got on me pretty damn good, but uh, other than that, it applied pretty good. Now, now that I got it all over the car, check that out. <laughs> Stupid kids in high school. Anyways, uh, got it all applied. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, hit it with my 180 DA, see where my highs and lows are, and then I uh, think I should be good for a uh, primer. So let's get this car painted. I already block sanded with 120 finished it off with the da with a 320 
And then now I'm going to wash it with dish soap and a bucket of water, hand wash it with the red scuffing pad, and then wait till it dries so I can start masking it off. Once that's done, I'm going to push it inside my uh, homemade uh, paint booth. It's uh, not the greatest, but it'll work just for primer. I note to self, never going to use this type of plastic because it's very thin, very cheap, and it rips very easily, and it's very difficult to lay on, especially by yourself. Um, this is just temporarily, this is just for painting the primer. On my next setup, when I do the actual uh, paint, I'm going to use some heavy-duty tarp and make it this look more legit. Right now, this is just temporary, just to get it paint primered. And if dust or something goes gets on it, I'm still gonna block sand it. So, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna actually start getting started, and then uh, I'm excited to get this painted. All right. Alright guys, so I kind of skipped ahead, got everything masked off. It got way too hot, way too hot to where I couldn't paint it. If I painted it uh, during the day, uh, my primer would have dried too quick and it wouldn't cure correctly. So now that we're in temp, uh, we're going to go ahead and start shooting. I already cleaned it off with the wax and grease removal. I am going to come back and hit it with a tack cloth, get everything picked up. Uh, and then I'm going to shoot self itchy primer to the uh, bare metal. Let that flash, and then I come in and start shooting. So, I'm already suited up. Gotta make it look legit. Got my little exhaust fan. It's a little setup for uh, for primer, but I'm uh, pretty sure when I, do, when I start doing my painting, it's gonna be a lot better setup. Yeah, shop's a mess, been pretty crazy. But uh, this is my setup right here. Uh, buddy, let me borrow his gun. Uh, it's a 1.4. I really wish it was a 1.8. I uh, got my digital regulator, moisturizer filter, yada, yada, yada. I have a clean, brand new hose that's gonna be inside the paint booth only. Um, God, I'm trying out these two wax and grease removal. I really, really like this one. Um, got my 3M respirator, because I don't wanna die. And then I am running the Autobahn primer. I'm using a medium activator. And this should be from uh, 70 to 80 degrees. So we're good to go. It's going to be a 4 to 1 ratio. I'm going to start mixing that up after I shoot my self-itching primer, which is right here. And then uh, once this is drying up, I will have this ready and then pour it inside and then start shooting. So, all right, let's go.
Uh, so I laid the primer hella late. It was around 2.40 when I started laying primer. Uh, as soon as I was done, I just had to call it a day, call it a night. Um, I'm already taking the paint booth apart. Uh, luckily, it's all disposable, so I threw everything in the trash. Uh, came out really good for my first time. My masking was pretty good. I love it. I like it. Got good coverage. Uh, what I'm gonna do next, cause this is my first time, so I'm not, I'm not professional. My first time, so what I'm gonna do is just to be safe, and just to be safe, I'm gonna do the long run by block sanding it, see where my highs and lows are now, correct it, and then I'm gonna lay another layer of primer over that once I'm done. Just because I want to be safe and sorry and then block sand it just to make sure the body is perfect. I want to do this right the first time. So I'm going to take extra precautions. So once I get the block sanding done, I wish there's more primer. Get it all masked up again, set up the paint booth again, and do this all over again. Uh, the mask, the bill in the paint booth literally only cost me less than $50. Uh, I bought the, the plastic tarp from Amazon for $10. Bought that big tarp for... Uh, 20 bucks at Harper Freight and then duct tape and that's pretty much it. And then I also bought that little square fan for like 20 bucks at uh at um Home Depot. So, yeah, a little 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 less than $60. So, it's not bad. So, I'm happy with the results first time. So, I'm going to continue moving on with this video and I'm going to start block sanding it here in a few days. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and start working on the fenders, hood, and the back patch. All right, guys, so, weeks went by. I'm not done yet, I guys. built myself a new paint booth. I like this setup. It's more uh, more reliable, more sealed. Got my intake side with four filters. I got my exhaust side, which I still got to put filters when I'm ready to paint. Uh, the car is clean. Everything in here is clean. What I got to do next is mask it and then get it ready for sealer. Uh, what I like about this paint booth is it's very reusable. So depending how I store it, from the heat, from the water elements, weather elements, whatever, it will last me a long, long time. So uh, it only takes 10 minutes to remove, 10 minutes to reassemble. Everything is all taped up and very sturdy. Got no screws, nothing. It's just all just the, the uh, roof, it holds it in place. So I kind of like it. Got new lighting, which I'm happy about that. And then, uh, so this is a big upgrade. I had to make sure I did the right way when I started actually laying color. Primer, a lot of people don't worry too much about primer because you're still going to end up sanding it down anyway. So this should be a good setup. Um, now I'm excited. So let me get this all masked up, get the body prepped up, ready for sealer, and then start shooting. Let's go. All right, so the car is maxed off. Um, came out pretty good. Let me just explain the details of uh, when I primered it. When I when you saw the last last clip, when I primered it, I went ahead and block sanded it, did some more repairs, primed it again, and then I uh, block sanded it again with a 320, and then hit it with a 400 DA. So now it's 100% good, ready for sealers. The fenders are ready for sealer. Got to bring them in, hang them up somewhere, and so I can spray it, and then. Uh, think we're good to go so next step is to i'm gonna wipe it i'm gonna clean it with super clean wipe it off and then i'm gonna go back with wax and grease removal and then once i'm before i'm i start spraying i'm gonna go back and hit with a micro cloth uh cloth and then uh i think i should be good so i'm excited but nervous because this is my first time hitting sealer and with the new gun so uh we shall see how this turns out if it if I get it wrong, then I'm going to have to go back and uh, sand it down and redo it again. So, don't want to do that. All right. Car's prepped up. It's ready to go. I uh, The only thing I need to do is go in with wax and grease removal, wipe it down, let that flash. And while it's flashing, I, I got to get my gun ready. Once I get that ready, I also got to get the camera ready. I bought two pints of the sealer, and I bought a gallon can so i gotta put those in mix it so i get the same color uh, i also gotta suit up so yeah dude prepping sucks ass it took me all freaking day just to get the car in 
get it ready, mask it off. It took me all day. So, and then it got too hot to where I didn't feel comfortable spraying. So, kind of waited, took a break and waited. So now I'm in the correct position to start spraying. So, uh, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. So it's the next morning, it's all flashed, came out really good. I really don't see any runs, which that's a good sign. Uh, what I am gonna do is, cause I do notice some little, that's not, that's, that's just water. It's just water, that's what we do. But um, notice a little bit of rough spots. So what I'm gonna do is hit it with the uh, six to 800 grit uh, gray scuffing pad, get it all scuffed up come back and clean it with the water base and then wipe it all down and start getting prepped up for my base color uh now i gotta do that today gotta, gotta go to work but um i'm gonna let this flash out and cure until i get the paint and then start start prepping so i'm excited this uh paint booth was worked out very good for me um uh, very little overspray as soon as i started spraying it was just, uh, I could see, I was, it was clear. I love it. I love it. I like it. I'm pretty proud of myself. And uh, I'm excited. I'm, I'm happy how the way this came out. That 3M gun is very handy, very easy to clean throughout my uh, throughout my uh, uh, time that I'm waiting to uh, respray. So I only did two coats on this one. So I uh, let it flash for 15 minutes. And uh, yeah, I'm happy with it. I, uh, like I said, there's a little bit of rough spots. I can feel it. It's smooth, but when I throw my microfiber cloth on it, it'll kind of catch on a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is just scuff it and it should be good. All right, so the paint finally arrived. Uh, just a little quick update. Uh, finally got the lid, uh, hatch lid and the hood painted with sealer. 
Uh, a lot of people on Instagram and Facebook say that why it has a green tint on the primer, it doesn't. Uh, I know it kind of looks like that, but it's actually a charcoal gray. It's a little darker, but I guess from my surroundings, it makes it look like it's like it's a little greenish. Maybe it's just the camera, but to me, in my eyes, it looks completely gray. So, moving on, I uh, I ordered my color from uh, Eurochem, the coating store. I heard some good reviews. I've heard some uh, other reviews, but as affordable as it is, I liked it. So I went ahead and bought a three a tri stage color. I'm not gonna show you the color yet, but I'm gonna show you what it comes with. Uh, I just now opened it. It came with instructions with the uh, bill of sale. Came with instructions with the base coat and mid coat and the clear coat. So that's pretty handy. I enjoy reading those instructions. Uh, came with two sticks and two paint cards. As you can see, the difference of a primer. See, it's like a charcoal gray. But uh, these cards are four. You can read that real quick. So I'm going to take these to the sticks and I guess shoot my color onto this first and see what kind of results I get. So I think that will be pretty cool, pretty fun. Uh, it, so let me show you what it came with. This came with a one-step, a two-step. My one-step should be right there. That's my one-step. This is my two-step, uh, a reducer, activator, and my clear. Also came with two paint cups for my knowledge of just looking on top. So I'm going to get this all unboxed and see what else I have in here. All right, so I got these cracked open. I'm just going to show you. I'm not going to stir it or anything, get the stick and show off. I'm not going to do all that right now. I will do that on the next clip when I actually start pouring it into the mix cups. So let me show you the base color. Oh, man, it looks beautiful. Look at that. That looks sick. I like it. I like it. That's the color that I freaking tried. I went to the paint store and took a sample to get paint match, and they could not get it to match. Uh, I did forget to tell them that it was a tri-stage color. Maybe that was my fault. I will take responsibility for that. But still, they should know. They should know, right? Um, but this is the base color. Let me show you one more time. It's uh, the Fierce Fuchsia Pink. And then this is the, gonna be the pearl. Uh, I was kind of a little, little weird about it because it looked too white, but I guess that's how pearl looks like it. But you can tell it's got a little bit, a little pearl in it, a little pinkish pearl, which is pretty cool. So I think so. I'm sure once I mix that up, I'm sure the, the colors will start changing both to both of them. So that's a little preview. Let me show you this again because I didn't open it all the way. But uh, you can see that little pink, pink pearl in there. That's pretty cool.